Just over halfway through Gleaner's history in the late 1970s, they developed some technology, revolutionized harvesting with the transverse rotor and the natural flow processor that really changed the way we harvested. And when we look in the, in the early years, technology was just that, it was mechanical, it was how do we make harvesting better. And it, it's not uh, in ones and zeros uh, programming or anything like that. We just need to make sure the machine is robust and reliable enough that when we go out, it's gonna come back to, in the same shape. In addition to the high-tech stuff, that the low-tech stuff gets that same focus, same uh, improvements that we've had on the high-tech side. The natural flow processor is the heart of the cleaner combine because ultimately it's the root of what makes it so great. Uh, it allows for the, the straight-through shafts and belt drives that make the machine so reliable and efficient in transferring power. Uh, it allows our grain tank, our larger volume grain tank, to be carried closer to the center of gravity of the machine so it, it gives it more stability on side hills and, and decreases the overall height of the, the combine. It also allows for the distribution augers and the, the accelerator rolls, which gives us the two stages of, air, of cleaning and, and increases the productivity of our cleaning shoe and provides for us that clean grain bin sample that we're known for. Uh, the natural flow processor, again, it makes all of this stuff possible and only Gleaner Combines offer it. Today, technology is totally different. Data collection, row guidance. So one of the things we did here at Gleaner was to ensure that our combine would accept all the different types of technologies that are out there so that they can best fit what works on their farm. If the customer has a strong loyalty, to a specific technology or something that is simple or something that they always use, we want to be open to allowing that. We're not here to force any customer into using only one technology. If they have something that works well for them and we can keep their life simpler by making some adaptation, we will do it. And we will work with those manufacturers to ensure that it is secure and safe and that it performs. I like to say that the Gleaner Combine fits the operation, not the operation fitting the combine. For harvest, we have seen that uh, just getting the machine set is a lot simpler for a clean grain sample. Pretty easy situation, to, or easy to figure out. Easy to set, clean grain sample in the tank and on the ground. We, we really like a lot of the features, they're simple to operate. We get like to keep our guys as long as we can, but get newer operators every year. And it's just, it's really easy to train them to run a gleaner combine. It's its very intuitive. There's, there's technology built into it, just enough for what we want and for our growers, but it's not overwhelming for a new operator to jump into the cab. For me and on this farm, it's extremely important that the data can work with multiple platforms and it's not proprietary to one system and that we can easily take that data out of our combine and put it into um, our desktop computer program of our choosing that we use to analyze the data and process that data into something that we can use. We don't run leveling on these where uh, all the other brands do a, run a leveling system because the Gleaner's unique transverse rotor and um, accelerated rolls and then some of these kits that we put on for dividing the grain on the shoe that we're able to cover these tame hills, drive them like a tractor, just as with this low center of gravity of the combine. So that saves us over $100,000 in a leveling system to do the same thing with a, one of the other different color combines and stuff. And we don't have that issue and, and we don't have to mess around with uh, transition issues from the header to the combine on the hills. This is just all stock gleaner designed and engineered combine working properly for us. We've added new technology, new capacity to be high performing, get into higher yielding fields, be able to handle all those conditions for a class six, seven or eight class machine and go anywhere that those, those conditions exist. So as we look to the next 100 years with gleaner combines, it's gonna be very exciting to see all the changes with the way technology moves so fast in today's world. Uh, you can only imagine what we'll be looking at a hundred years from now.